Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna Mogeshe, the counselor, and this is the channel of hope. Anna Mogeshe is a counselor. I do one on one, that is face to face counseling. I do virtual. Uh, technology has come, and because of COVID, uh, there are some people who do not want to meet face to face with someone, so I can also do the virtual. And I always say it takes boldness, forgive the sound of the nature. I'm doing this video outside. You can see the way the the plants are going. Uh, uh, yes, up and down because of the weed. Uh, I hope my audio is going to be in uh, loud enough or loud enough, not loud. <laughs> oh. So I am at the inside table, the counselor's insight, and yet I'm bringing another informative and very educative video. And uh, like I was saying, I start by saying it takes a lot of boldness and sobriety for you to seek help and to know that you need help and to make sure that you don't die with your problems. You don't die with your challenges. You can always seek for professional help. And I'm here. You can contact me using any of the numbers. All the contacts below the video. You can go to the description and uh, look for the contacts you're going to use. Uh, uh, when I'm doing these insights and uh, you want help, I always leave my, my my telephone number. You can SMS, you can call and seek for that professional help. So you guys, have you subscribed to this channel? By the way, thank you so, so much for 1.5 sub subscribers. But do you subscribe and you don't watch? Yes, you can subscribe. Uh, and you don't tune in. I only ask for you to to be there every Wednesday and every Friday when I put new videos, guys. Because we need to help each other. So subscribe and always watch to the end to these videos. I watch these videos and let us help each other. My name is Anna Mogeshe. So what do I want us to talk about? I want to talk about how you can help you can come across how you can deal with problems how do you deal with problems how do you deal with challenges and how you also can help when you're going through stuff so what am i talking about i'm going to talk briefly on how you can deal with grief and sorrow Sometimes you have a sick family member, a sick uh, close person, and you need to know how to deal with it because you also don't want you sick. Sometimes you should, could be stricken by grief when uh, you've lost the loved one. Uh, I've gone through that many times, and uh, we overcome because there's God in heaven. Uh, number one, how do you deal with it? Ask for God's will to be done. Somebody is sick, our God is our healer. So pray for healing and let God's will to be done. Just have faith, just have trust, and God will do his stuff. Sometimes we question God, sometimes we question ourselves, and you realize that uh, we only end up hurting ourselves and those who are close to us. And especially if you have family, you end up hurting your family because your other uh, close friend is uh, not hurting in a bad way, but you realize that you don't take care of them the way you're supposed to take care of them. For example, if you have children, you're going through so much sorrow, you're going through so much uh, grief, such that you forget that you're supposed to leave. So let God do his will. The other thing that you're supposed to do on how you can deal with uh, grief or sorrow is to ensure that you have a support system. The birds are still chipping. You can, uh, it's my background music. You can listen to it. So pray, trust in God, and uh, just believe. Don't ask yourself so many questions. It's okay. I know you may not even understand what I'm telling you. Sometimes you don't even want anyone to talk to you. But deep inside you, pray for those people who are sick. Pray for God to give you strength and peace and grace. Because that is what you need most. Then number two, you need that support system. Most of the time, your family will not leave you behind. Some friends will run away from you when you're in that sorrow. But your family will be your support system. And your family members, just support those who are going through stuff. If you've never missed, I mean, 
lost a loved one, you've never had a sick person in the hospital, you may not understand what I'm talking about. But heed to the call and go. The Bible says that it's better those who go to mourn with those who are mourning, to cry with those who are crying, than to go to a party of people who are enjoying. That is what the word of God says. So support system is needed in this case so that you can deal with the grief and sorrow very well. Do not make sure that you don't go down into depression. So you need that support system. You need to pray about it. And you need to believe in God. Pray, pray, pray. Get that support system, especially from family members, from relatives, from um, from neighbors, from any support system that you would get. So if you are going through that, talk about it. You have a sick person, talk about it. Tell people to pray for you. Tell people to support you. Those who will support you will support you. Those who will not support you, don't even think about it. Because there are people who are out there pretending to mourn with you, pretending to, to, to have sorrow with you, but they are not there. Just concentrate on those who are giving you support. I hope I've educated you. I hope you know how to deal with it now. Believe in yourself, pray to God, and everything will be well. If you're going through it, I am praying for you, and may God bless you. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel. My name is Anna Mugeshe, the counselor. Subscribe now, and be happy. Hashtag hope, hashtag life must move on. Thank you.